Okay, so just remembering back to a previous lecture, we have an idealised picture of the wood cell wall, which is composed of a number of layers, different walls, primary walls, which I'm not going to talk about. It's the secondary wall that's the, the one that's most important from the point of view of material properties. And we have this microfibrillar spiral winding in the secondary wall layer. And these microfibrils are the cellulose chains, uh, which are formed of 24 or 36 uh, individual cellulose molecules all bonded together to form these entities called elementary fibrils, which further bond together to form these things called microfibrils. So they're the reinforcing element. They're the things that you can apply tensile loads to, and they are very strong. But if you apply a compressive load, they'll buckle. So that's why we have the lignin to prevent that buckling, and then to provide some sort of coupling between the microfibrils and the lignin matrix, we have this hemicellulose region. So in terms of basic composite theory, we have a fibre and we have a matrix which is made up of the lignin, perhaps I should have drawn that in another colour but never mind. And most important of all, we have this region between that reinforcing fibre and the matrix, which I shall just show in green here. And this is the interface. And in order to understand what is happening when we try and break a composite, we have to understand what is happening at the interface between the matrix and the reinforcement. So the matrix is what is drawn here in as a cross. So it's this cross-linked lignin network. And then we have the reinforcement which is the cellulose fibril. And obviously at the interface we have this hemicellulose rich region. 